In this video, we're in Microsoft Word, and I want to show you how to add clickable checkboxes to your document. So here's the example I've created already. If I click into one of these checkboxes, puts in the tick, click on it again, it removes the tick. So let's see how we can do this. Now, the first thing you want to do is show the developer tab on your ribbon. It won't show by default. So to get it to appear, just right click on one of the existing tabs, doesn't matter which one. So I'll right click on review, customize the ribbon. And then in this list here on the right hand side of the dialog, you need to make sure that developer is ticked. Click on OK, and then you'll have your developer tab. Now in the controls group, you're gonna see controls that you can add to your document. We're going to use this control here, a checkbox. So you need to make sure your flashing cursor is where you want the checkbox to appear. And then click on the checkbox control button and you'll get a checkbox in your document. Now there's some changes you can make to the checkbox. If we go to properties, first thing I would do to get rid of this bounding box around the checkbox is use this show as drop down list. And I'm going to choose none. If I click on OK, that gets rid of that bounding box. Back to properties. If you want to prevent users deleting a checkbox, you can use this option here. Content control cannot be deleted. Next, we're going to specify what a checked symbol looks like and what an unchecked symbol looks like. So we'll start with the checked symbol. Go to change, and then in this symbols dialog box, you need to go to wingdings. Then scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see some checkbox options here. So I want to choose this option here for a checked checkbox. And then the unchecked symbol, I'm going to change to this shape here. So this is towards the top of the wingdings list. And obviously you can change these to whatever you want them to be for your document. If I click on OK, nearly there. You can see if I click on it, I get a tick. Click on it again, it unticks it. Now I can format the shape if I just click to the side of it and go to Home. I can change the font size. I could also align it. And if I want the checkbox to be repeated, in these other cells, rather than creating the checkbox from scratch, just select it, copy it, Control C, then Control V, Control V, Control V, and then all I need to do is just align the checkboxes within the cells, and there we are. I've got four checkboxes ready for the next user of this form. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully, that's useful. If it is, Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.